Hello, this is Lady B, and today I am bringing you another March recipe from the Calendar Book of Natural Beauty, and this one is a coconut shampoo. Now, they call it a coconut shampoo, but it's really like a deep conditioner that you use before you shampoo. The recipe is meant to to give you a really nice gloss to your hair, which as I've gotten older has been harder and harder to do. So, um, it's very simple. It's supposed to come from a lady, uh, a Chinese woman from Sumatra that says it's the traditional way her family always did and it's supposed to work really well. So we'll see, give it a try. Uh, two ingredients, this is half a cup of coconut cream not coconut milk coconut cream the the cream is as you can see it's a lot thicker and if this was cold from out of the fridge it would just be a block it actually solidifies at refrigerator temperatures and so we have a half cup here it's the equivalent to the coconut cream you would get from one raw coconut if you made it yourself from scratch and then the other ingredient is just this lemon. Now, we don't want anything in the lemon except the oil from the peel. And there's a lot of things out there on making essential oils, lemon oils. That's not what this is. This is just the oil from the peel. So step one, I have already done with the lemon and that is to get it warm. Now you can just leave it at room temperature for hours. I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and it's nice and warm and I can see the oils already coming to the surface. So the next thing I want to do is I want to cut off my peel, just the peel, not the lemon on the inside, but I want a nice, the, there's that pith underneath it, the, the white. I want a large amount of that uh, because that's going to help me get my oil out. So wish me luck with this. I know how it's done, but I've never actually done it before. So, let's, ooh, might have gotten that a little too warm. So I'm trying to cut this off, making sure to get as much of the white as I can without actually cutting into the lemon. So it should look like this. See, it has all that white. Now, before I heated this, I did clean the outside of the lemon. Uh, you don't want any, since we're getting this stuff off of the skin, you don't want any of the pesticides or anything else coming with it. So I did clean it with a good vegetable cleaner. So now that I have this strip here, I'm gonna come over my bowl. And the first thing I'm going to do is to just twist it Like that and that if you can see that has brought all the oil to the surface I don't know if you can see it's brought all the oil to the surface so once I've brought the oil to the surface like that the next thing I do is I just rub it on the glass of the bowl and it does say it should be a glass bowl if you can um, I think it might have said you can have ceramic too let me check that really quick uh, let's see. Oh, metal is the other option, not ceramic. And we're just going to rub that against the glass and kind of squeeze it out. Between the heat and the twisting, we can just push the oil right out. Now, I read somewhere someone saying that they actually like to take small pieces of the skin and use a garlic press to press it out. But they say that actually takes a great deal of strength to do. And so I'm going to stick this time at least with the recipe. And that's probably what I'm going to get out of that piece. Now there is a big old drop. I don't know if you can see it. 
there's a big old drop of yellow in there where most of the oil drop that I got off of it before it dropped off onto it. So cutting the next section. I'm just going to go around and do that with each piece. And I do not want the juice, I just want the oil. I actually got a little bit of a cut there, so I've got some juice there, so I'm leaving that behind. Twist. Now, the reason I'm leaving all the white on is I was looking this up a few, oh, might have been a week or two ago, for a different reason, for something else completely. And according to the video I was watching at that time, the guy said that <clears throat> if you don't have enough of the white, it's harder to get the oil from it. The white actually, I don't, maybe it's because it's thicker, it makes it easier to squeeze or what, but it's supposed to make it easier to get the oil out. He says you don't get as much oil out if you don't have, if, you, if it's too thin. So those nice thick slices make all the difference. No, I think I got it off. See, I'm checking it by squeezing it again to see if any more comes to the surface, and I'm not seeing any. So time to move on. And I'm going to finish, keep doing this until I have all of the oil off of one lemon added to this. I would suggest if you have glass to stick with glass rather than metal even though it says you can use metal just because according to what I've looked up because I actually looked up you can buy lemon oil online and it just blows your mind it takes something like 240 something lemons to make three and a half ounces of lemon oil so it takes a lot of lemons to get lemon oil you're getting a very small amount from this um, but it's very caustic um, you have to store if you make your own that's just the straight lemon oil you have to store it in glass jars because it will literally dissolve plastic and so I can't help but think that if you used metal, you might pull something from the metal too. So that's why I would recommend glass if you have it over the metal. About halfway there. not a lot but it should be enough now you'll notice since I rubbed that on the side I'm going to take my spatula and I'm going to scrape those sides that I rubbed it and I'm going to mix it into that coconut cream and that's everything now I can use this for something else since I didn't need it for this but all I'm going to do with this is you just rub it into your hair, especially into the roots, but you rub it into your hair and then you leave it on for 15 minutes and then wash it out with an herbal shampoo followed either by a lemon or a vinegar rinse. And it's just supposed to really make your hair shiny and beautiful. Hi, I'm back. Um, I have here the coconut shampoo that I made. I made it yesterday. I didn't have time to use it at the time. Um, and I have another one of these disposable plastic hair covers. 
Now, the next step is to massage this into my hair and roots. And then I'm going to put this on. It doesn't call for one, but I'm going to put it on just to help keep things clean. And I let it sit for 15 minutes. So, we'll see how that goes. Probably not the way it's supposed to be done, but... Now I'm getting a little dripping, which is why I'm doing this over the sink. And this time I didn't size up the recipe like I usually do because I have so much hair. Um, actually kind of hard with this much hair to get all of it. I'm having to make sure I get every last bit out of it. But I think it will just cover. So if you have less hair than I do, it should definitely be enough. And work it in. Massage it into my hair. I have to say, this is nowhere as messy as doing the shampoo with the shampooing with egg yolks. So and honestly, I think my hair is absorbing. So, 15 minutes in here, just to let it soak in. And then after that, I'm going to wash it out with an herbal shampoo, followed by a vinegar rinse. And I'll see you after that. I'm back. My hair is mostly dried now. 
in the book, it talks about how the lady that gave them this recipe said that they would dry their hair in, let's see, where was that again? Let me look a bit. In Sumatra. That's where it was. They would dry their hair in Sumatra by putting a bamboo pole over a chair and beating the hair against it to, it was supposed to strengthen it somehow, dry it at the same time as strengthening it. But the book itself suggests drying your hair in the sun. I didn't have time to do that, so I used other methods. But You know what my hair looked like before. You just barely saw it. It wasn't needing to be washed. It was actually very, very, very clean, but it was also very flat. D well, dull. It had no shine to it. This definitely worked to bring shine into my hair. It's darkened it a little bit too because of the herbal parts from washing it out. Now, it wasn't easy to wash out. I had to do it a couple of times and really set it up. And it is taking a long time to dry, which I find to be a sign of there being a lot of moisture involved. So it definitely both moisturized and has added shine to my hair. You can see the difference from before as after. Um, so yes, it does work. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing this again. I think I've gotten similar results from using a dry oil treatment on my hair. I use argon oil myself personally. Hello. It's the next day again. And I'm recording this because after 24 hours, I've changed my mind. Initially, it didn't seem to be anything special. Uh, when my hair was still slightly damp, it, it seemed very similar, the results seemed very similar to when I use a dry oil treatment. But now that it's had time to finish soaking in overnight um, and my hair is completely dry, I'm really impressed actually. Uh, maybe it was brushing my hair last night with the oil, with the boar bristle brush, you know, the hundred strokes you do every night. Maybe it was wrapping it up in a bun and letting it just really soak in. But the 24 hours that it's been since I washed my hair has made a huge difference. And my hair now is soft and shiny and just, it's just really nice. I'm... I'm so impressed. I have not gotten this kind of result off of any other deep conditioner I've used on my hair. It just evidently takes a while to really, really kick in. So, will I do this again? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'll do this again. Now, I might go out and buy me some lemon oil that's already been processed in a little bottle and use maybe one or two drops instead of going to the effort of getting my own lemon oil from a lemon rind. But definitely, definitely worth it. And if you can see just how just how shiny this is compared to before it's just um 
I'm blown away. In the, in, with other treatments, I'm often finding myself having to try and balance the, that shine with getting too much on it and it, my hair ending up oily. And this is not at all oily. It's just shine. That's all it is. It's just shine. Shine and, and like I said, just soft. So there's my final take on coconut shampoo. Absolutely recommend it. If you, if your hair is dry and looking dull, give it a try. So that's everything. This is Lady B signing off until next time. I will see you later. Bye-bye.